Greetings. Greetings, greetings, greetings. <laughs> At a word to life tonight for the ladies, I just want to apologize because uh, I was actually supposed to do this, I think, like uh, last week. I want to do this message for the women. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start coming on doing scope for the men and women and kind of open up discussion. So tonight, not only am I uh, going to have this topic, but I'm going to open up discussion. It's usually something I don't do because I usually just go ahead and um, I usually just uh, come on and talk. And I don't really open up a discussion, but I will allow discussion for this topic. But uh, thanks for joining those of you on the replay. I thank y'all for joining. Uh, we still doing a heart contest. And Brother Anthony Harwood, please reach out to me. Therefore, we can go ahead and discuss um, discuss your, uh, your address so I can reach out to you and possibly send you something. But God bless y'all. But I want to send a quick word. I want to do this for the women tonight. Let me see what we got on. God bless you. Thanks for joining. Go ahead and invite your followers as well. But anyway, I want to do this. Uh, I want to do this topic, and the reason why I want to do this on women tonight is because so many we have a lot we dealing with. We have a lot of broken women, and not only this, these are these are women of God too. See, these are Jesus women that really we, that that struggle with their past. They struggle with bad marriages. They struggle with relationships, and they struggle with decisions in life, but I want to talk about some things today because so many times there are a lot of women and they get caught up in these bad decisions. They get caught up in these relationships. But see, a lot of times what it's going to take is for a woman to have a real relationship with God, a woman that has real discernment, that be able to know right from wrong and what I mean is people say what do you mean from right and wrong because there are a lot of decisions that a lot of women make and see women are different from men so a lot of times men and women think different so a lot of our choices our choices in life are different and see I want to be careful what I word things because some people are going to understand and some don't because as women see women have a different attitude versus men see men see things differently but what i want to do tonight i want to talk about this because we have a lot of weak-minded women and what i mean by weak-minded i'm not just saying women that's in the world but this is also women in the church see women that you think that have discernment women that you think that will know better see one thing about it, age doesn't, uh, wisdom doesn't come with age. Wisdom comes from God. So if anybody needs wisdom, ask of God and see, I want to deal with this first and see, I, I listed topics and I want to discuss this about weak-minded women. See, there's a lot of, there's a lot of women, a lot of broken women, which weak-minded, which I'm saying, but I'm going to get to this in a minute. So you can understand where I'm going. See, there are women that will literally fall for anything. There, there, there are women that they'll be persuaded by love. There are women that'll be persuaded just by looks. Now, wait a minute now, now. We say looks, right? Now, we know looks can be deceiving. You can be deceived by looks, but... This is what I want to talk about. See, those are the, the weak-minded women. What happened to those women that was attracted to the mind? What happened to those women that was not only attracted to you just for your money or your fame? Where are the women that was attracted to a man just because of his spirituality? And see, so this is why I say those are a lot of weak-minded women for a, for a woman to be attracted to somebody because of their physical looks or because how much money they got, that's a weak-minded woman. 
Women that fall for anything, anything a man tells you, you fall for it. See, but what I found is that's somebody that's looking for attention. That's somebody that has to go seek love from somewhere else because they're not used to getting love. See, these are the women that fall for anything. But see, some people are going to get that, but some don't. But why do why do so many women fall for just anything? As I said, some see some women's mind. See, I don't know if some just they want love and affection at the same time, or they're just seeking just attention. What is it? Why is it so many weak-minded women? And see, this topic, we're not really going to... I'm not really going to include men because I want to deal with the women tonight. This discussion, I want to deal with women because we got a lot of broken women. And we got a lot of broken women specifically because of their past. Because of what, what another man has done to them. What somebody did. What See, a lot of times you got to leave that past behind. See, you can't bring your past in with your future and try to mix it in and think things will be better. No, your past gave you a testimony from that man that hurt you, from that man that abused you, from the man that molested you. That's your past. But see, you got to learn to get over that. I know it's easier said than done, but that's something God can come and help you with. That's something he's going to have to do. See, he's going to have to destroy that yoke. See, God's going to have to help you move forward from your past. But I want to discuss this because we got a lot of broken women. And see, that comes from a, from a hurt and from a pain that goes so deep that just won't cure overnight. See, that's things that's going to take God to come and fix you. As you say, you just can't cut somebody, put a band-aid over it, and it be done. Just that scar has to heal. So you have to allow yourself to heal. Just like a grieving process, you have to allow yourself to grieve over some things. But I'm trying to help, I'm trying to help somebody overcome. I'm trying to help somebody overcome that brokenness. Stop being so weak-minded. Stop accepting any and everything because you're looking for somebody to love you again. No, see, God can give you a love that no man can give. But I'm talking to somebody. See, right now, you're looking for somebody to love you. But sometimes you got to stop and get in a secret and get intimate with God and get in a secret place. See, a lot of times, God has stopped, stopped he, he has rejected some things from you just to protect you. But you may not understand it now what God is doing. But later on, you will. You're beautiful and you're loved by God. It's time for you to let go of that past. It's time for you to let go of that hurt. Because God got so much in store for you. Mm -mm. You're worth more than a few dollars. You're worth more than a dinner at IHOP or at Waffle House. You see what I'm saying? I'm trying to help somebody. You're worth more than that. But we need women that's going to be more strong-minded. Not, that's, that's not going to be easy to persuade just because he got a six-pack or he got a nice car. No, that's a weak-minded woman. But see, you got to pray and ask God, God, send me a man of God. Send a man, somebody that's after your own heart. Send somebody for me. See, God has somebody for you. But you're going to have to forget about that loser. You're going to have to forget about that man that dumped you for your best friend. I'm trying to help somebody. Because see, you can't move forward with that. That only leaves you broken. 
See, God can put you back together. Although they did that to you, they're not getting away with that because we reap what we sow. Keep up your beautiness. Don't destroy your appearance because you let a man dump you. Or you worrying about a man that dumps you. You worrying about this, you worrying about that. No, you keep up your beautiness. Enjoy life. I want to encourage the women. Because so many times we get let down by our past. We get let down by what people has done to us. But I want to encourage somebody. I want to encourage the women tonight. Because there's a lot of broken women. That haven't recovered from their past hurts. Or that past breakup or whatever. See we need strong minded women. Women make this world go round. It's the women. We need more powerful women. Amen. But I want to do this scope because it's something that's been on. It's something that's been on my heart. Not only that, I want to start doing scopes for the men and the women because the guy put it on my heart that women need to be encouraged. There's some women that need to be lifted up. God bless you now. It's time for you to let go of that past. It's time for you to let go of that past. Let your soul heal. But so many times you spend so many, you spend all these years looking for a soulmate. When you have to heal in your heart, you got to heal in your mind. But, but going from one man to another is not going to heal you. Going out to the club trying to find that next man is not going to heal you. It's just not. So you got to, that's why you have to find a real relationship with God. That's right. Let go and let God. Amen to that. But see, this is what happens when you find a real relationship with God. You won't get caught up in trying to find a man. You won't get caught up in the biggest bank account or worrying about that that ex see that see that's a, there are soul ties that have been created and what it's going to do is it's going to take God to break it off see this is why it's important that you don't go out and just sleep with any and everybody don't you know you can create a soul tie And majority of those soul ties are ungodly. But see, we need more strong-minded women. See, we have enough. We have enough weak-minded women. Enough broken women. You see what I'm saying? Women looking for somebody to love them. See what it is? Some people can't stand to be alone. But see, what happens is when God shuts the door in a relationship, God's trying to take you somewhere else. But so many times we get so caught up in our feelings, we get so caught up in our flesh, we, we actually stop and forget about what God is doing because we're so busy in the natural. You're so busy in the natural that you actually forget that God is doing something in the spiritual. See, that's why God shuts doors. That's why there's rejections from relationships. That's why, see, it's all God doing everything because everything is predestinated. See, everything is ordained. See, a lot of times God took you away from that relationship because he's seen something getting ready to happen. Or God seen that man wasn't for you. Or God seen that man was about to bring you away from him. See, if, it, if it's not a man that's going to bring you closer to God, that's not the man for you. If it's somebody that's going to cause you to drift from God, mm -mm, he's not for you. But somebody has to know. Focus on your relationship with God. 
Your peace is not in a man. It's in, it's in God. Focus on you. Get a new mindset that you know what? I will be stronger. I will have peace in my mind. And I will let go of that past. Let go of that man. You don't have to look for love. See, love will come for you. Love going to come for you when you stop looking for it. Mm -mm. But see, God's going to heal you from that brokenness. God's going to restore you. Stop worrying about it and everything. Philippians 4. Philippians 4 and 6 says, Do not be anxious about nothing, but in every situation, pray. Give thanks to God. Give thanks to, give thanks to God for your testimony. Give thanks to God for your past. Because if it wasn't for your past, you wouldn't have a testimony. If it wasn't for that man doing what he did to you, you wouldn't have a testimony. Use your testimony to help somebody else. Use your testimony to help other broken women to say, you know what? I was in that dark place, but God brought me out. And I know he can do the same for you. It's about giving glory to God. Giving glory to God for where he brought you out. Because guess what? Your end, the end is so much better than the beginning. But I want to encourage the women tonight to let go of that past. Although you may be broken right now, God's going to mend your broken heart because he's closer to the broken hearted. He's closer to you now than what he's ever been. All you got to do is call on him. All you got to do is seek his face. God is there. But I want to encourage somebody tonight to keep moving forward. Let's not get caught on the past. Let's focus on the future. Because there's so much more. Don't spend all your time being caught up in what it could have been or what it should have been. No. God has something new for you. God going to give you that husband. He's going to give you that man. But you're going to have to let go of the past. Let go of the devil. You see what I mean? See, a lot of times we want to hold on to what the devil had for us when it wasn't for God in the first place. See, what the enemy does, the enemy will try to make something look so good. See, the enemy will try to pamper something up to make it look so enticing to where you'd want that thing even more. He'd make that man look more handsome than ever before to make you try to go after the wrong thing. And see, that's not God's will for you. God's will for you is to have somebody that will love you and that will worship God with you. That's God's will for you. God's will is not for you to be shacking for the rest of your life. God's will for you is to have a husband and to love one another, somebody that will love you back. That's God's will for you because God is love. And if a man don't love you, that's not God. And if a man can't love God, how can he love you? I'm trying to help somebody. This is why I don't get caught up in trying to find love. Because when you seek God, God will send you love. But see, you also have to be careful. That's why you have to ask if something's from God. Say, God, is this man in my life from you? Ask God to give you revelation. If he's not for you, ask God to remove it. See, this is why you got to have discernment. This is why you need the Holy Ghost. I tell people this all the time. Without the Spirit, you have no direction. See, you don't know what you don't know what's what. See, what sad is to have all that Holy Ghost and no discernment. See, you don't know what's good for you or what's bad for you because you're not spending no time with God. You're not connected to the Spirit. 
But when you connect it to God, God will let you know who was for you and who was against you. This is why I say do not get caught up in people. But I want to encourage the women. Hey, how you doing? God bless you. I want to encourage, encourage the women because there are so many broken women. Not only there are so many weak-minded women that fall for anything. You can't fall for any and everything. Get discernment. And if you don't have discernment, cry out for discernment. Amen. Mm -mm. Not only that, I want to see more women. I want to see more women encouraging others. See, it's bad enough and see what sad is you got and, and the church is full of women hold i mean holy ghost filled women the church is, has more women than it does men but see what sad is when you have another woman tearing down another woman see sisters need to come together there's too much jealousy there's too much greed between each other you worrying about so and so because she dressed better than you Something's not right when your focus should be on God instead of what so-and-so looks like. See, God said don't stir up quarrel between each other. See, those are the kind of women we got. Those are the weak-minded women, but women that are like that are also the broken women. The ones that stir up strife, the ones that stir up conflict, don't be a part of them. Be something different. The ones that gossip, no, stay away from them because that's not of God. And God is not in that. God is not in confusion. God is not in gossip. If it's not about, if, if it's not about the word of God, if it's not about fellowship, have nothing to do with that. You see what I mean? But be encouraged tonight. Hey, God, hey, God, so how you doing? Thanks for joining. But I want to encourage the women because... There are women discouraged. There are women being discouraged every day by little things. You let people talking about you discourage you. See, more women, more women have more conflict than anything. And see, it's sad. It's sad. But be encouraged, women of God. Be encouraged regardless. Start seeking God. Love is not always in a man. It's in God. And like I said, if, if a man don't love God, how can he love you? Let go of that past. Let go of that hurt. See, God can restore you from that. God didn't want you to be God don't want you to be depressed and angry all about a breakup. No. It's time for you to move forward now. It's time for you to let God mend you. Go out and mentor somebody else. Help somebody else move forward. Help somebody else overcome. Be encouraged regardless of the hurt, regardless of your past. God's going to give you a new future. Anyway, y'all be blessed and have a good night.